Let's explore pH, acids, and color through red cabbage. Prepare the red cabbage liquid by chopping up the cabbage and placing it in a large bowl and then pouring boiling water over it and letting it sit for 10 minutes. You can also do it for 20 to 30 minutes and the longer it sits, the darker the color. Then strain the liquid and put it into a cup and you can store this in the fridge for up to a week. Next, create your five solutions. You'll have pure water, pure vinegar, as well as pure baking soda. And then you're going to have basically different amounts of vinegar to water. So you have a 1% vinegar solution, a 25% vinegar solution, and then basically a diluted baking soda solution. So you have a variety of solutions on a spectrum. All right, now for the lab. Add about a tablespoon or three droppers full of the red cabbage liquid to five different cups. Spoiler alert, in order to show you how to do this, we have to show you the results. So if you're planning on doing this, we actually recommend pausing here, doing it yourself, and then coming back to see what we found and why that happens. One thing, we're showing you here with food coloring so to not spoil anything, but make sure you slowly add the liquid to the red cabbage indicator, ideally with a dropper, so you can really see what's going on. While you can do this lab in a variety of ways, we recommend doing the vinegar first, followed by the water, and then the baking soda. Then you have some data to hypothesize what you might see with the 25% vinegar solution, 1% vinegar solution, and baking soda solution. Let's look at the results. Interpreting the results and exactly what they mean will depend on exactly how much you already know about acids and bases, so we're going to start off with the basics. There's a clear difference in color. Specifically, with the vinegar and vinegar samples, we see a pinkish hue. With the water, the color didn't change, it stayed purple. And with the baking soda and the baking soda solution, we see green-blue hues. So why is this? Well, red cabbage is a pH indicator, meaning it changes color depending on the pH of a substance. Now, what's pH? Well, it's basically a scale that measures how acidic or basic something is. The purple cabbage will turn pink when in contact with acids and blue when in contact with bases. So pH is a scale, and we have numbers that go from 0 to 14 to represent pH. Right in the middle, so a pH of 7, is going to be a neutral pH. Anything below 7 will be acidic, and anything above 7 will be basic or also known as alkaline. The further the number is from 7, neutral, the stronger the acid or stronger the base. This will make more sense when we go through some examples. The molecule behind this color change is anthocyanin, which gives the cabbage its purple color and is also behind pretty much any blue or red tone you see in any vegetable, plant, or flower. Let's play a quick game. We have some mystery substances and you're going to guess the pH of them. So guess if it's acidic, basic, or neutral, as well as estimate the number. So this first one is quite acidic because we can see a pretty strong red-pink hue. Now this one, we haven't really seen this color yet, so any guesses? So we kind of tricked you. This is calcium hydroxide, something you're probably not going to see in most kitchens, although it is used for processing corn. Now, if you notice, we're using gloves with this, and that's because it's actually very basic, and bases that are this strong are toxic, and we have to be careful with how we handle them. Let's do four more tests, and we're going to throw you another curveball. But don't worry, we'll explain it. All right, so that curveball was bleach, which turns yellow, because really strong bases are actually going to turn yellow. So in our lab with just baking soda and vinegar, we're looking at a more narrow range of acids to bases, and when we add in these, we're looking at a larger scale of really looking from zero to 14. You can also use this handy graphic from Compound Chem, which shows all of the different colors. Most cooking ingredients are going to be on the more acidic side. It's very rare to find bases in cooking, but you often find them in cleaning products. Of course, we have to be careful with that because they're toxic, which is why we don't recommend tinkering with them. Generally speaking, as we get further and further away from neutral, substances become more toxic and we have to be more careful with them. The good news is, is that with substances like baking soda and vinegar, you can tinker and play and have fun with it. For example, here we took red cabbage, added vinegar to it, and then just literally dumped in baking soda until we noticed that the pH got to neutral, which brings us to the last point 
which is that when you combine an acid and a base, they essentially combine to get closer to a neutral. Now it will depend on the strength of the acid and the amount of acid, and that's something you can tinker and play with. So speaking of, let's talk about tinkering and things you can do. There are so many different ways to tinker, explore, and expand this lab. You can try out different household liquids like different vinegars or buttermilk or milk, but just keep in mind that the liquids, if they're not clearer, it might be a little bit harder to see the results. You can also try mixing the acids and the bases, so mixing the vinegar and the baking soda, and you'll see not just a chemical reaction, but also a color change. You can also use pH strips to further confirm the pH of the liquids and compare with the cabbage indicator. Want to dive deeper into different concepts like this? Well, check out our science behind videos and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like these.